Hi everyone, we're at Euronaval 2024 in Paris. We are now standing on the large booth of the French Ministry of Armed Forces in front of the large, uh, I was going to say model, but that's, uh, that's actually the real thing. So that's the French XL UUV project uh, designed and built by uh, Naval Group. And I am now meeting with uh, Patrick. He's the manager for this project. He works at the French Defense Procurement Agency, DGA, and at the French uh, Defense Innovation Agency. Patrick, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What can you tell us about uh, this uh, well, large French XL UUV, uh, known as the UQV in French, and it's not uh, a French habit, but for once there's an English acronym in France. UQV stands for Unmanned Combat Underwater Vehicle. Exactly. So as you said, I'm the manager in charge of that, uh, that technological project that we call uh, UQV, for standing for Unmanned Combat Underwater Vehicle. And the, the objective of that project is to uh, develop a, uh, an operational demonstrator of drone, large drone, submarine drone made for combat purpose. And in the frame of that project, we use that technological demonstrator that we showcase at uh, Euronaval, which was made by, uh, by Naval Group. And as part of that, uh, that project, we use it as a test laboratory uh, for at sea testing, we test new things, new software, new, new sensors, new payload. For us, it's really helpful because it helps us to mature the technology. It helps us also to think with our Navy about new operational concepts, about how to use these XLUVs, which are pretty new, I mean, for any Navy around the world. And in parallel of all of these uh, at sea testing activities, uh, sea trials activities, uh, we, uh, we have been developing the future operational demonstrator. Uh, operational in the sense that it, it will uh, have a much better capacity than that one, a longer endurance, a, a higher maximum speed, uh, better sensors, better intelligence capability, payloads, and last but not least, it will be uh, fitted for a weapon system, of course, because it's an unmanned combat underwater vehicle. What's the timeline for that uh, upcoming demonstrator? When uh, may we see it? I mean, the, the, project, the project has been ongoing for almost a year now. It officially started uh, uh, end of last year. Uh, based on the development already made by Naval Group for uh, several years. Uh, the objective for us uh, is to have an incremental approach with very uh, frequent at sea testing using that one and uh, to launch an operational demonstrator at sea in, uh, in the coming years. So mission sets, uh, ISR, maybe seabed warfare a bit and uh, maybe like mine laying as well? Not seabed warfare for sure, we have other projects dealing with that specific area, uh, but for the rest we have many, many use cases in mind. Uh, we are working closely with our Navy uh, on, the, on that topic and uh, what is for sure and what is uh, really uh, uh, taken as an hypothesis in our development is that we want a drone that will be multi-mission. As, uh, as we did for the, the Rafale, for instance, we want something flexible, adaptable, and, uh, and that can evolve. Very well, Patrick, thank you very much. You're welcome. UCUV is the name of the project in which uh, Naval Group supplies the XLUV behind us. So this was designed and produced by uh, Naval Group a few years ago. To find out more, I am now with uh, Pierre-Antoine Flisch, head of uh, Unmanned Systems product line at Naval Group. Pierre-Antoine, good afternoon. Hi, Xavier, good afternoon. What can you tell us about this new French XL UUV? So the demonstrator vehicle that you have behind you is the demonstrator for the XL UUV. That's part of the UQ program, which is a program we have with the French Navy. It is used as a test bed that is going to trial either different technologies or different use cases coming up. And these prefigures part of the characteristics of what would be our future product called Seagent XL. And this was unveiled during Euronaval uh, this year? Yes, absolutely. I believe this is the first time that it's here uh, on the show. Uh, it's been navigating for about more than a year now, so some people have caught shots of it already in the, in the water. Can you share with us some of the mission sets for uh, the Seagent XL in the future? 
Yeah, so the future product Naval Group is developing. Uh, we'll have some missions I can talk about now. Typically, we will be uh, looking into ISR missions in which the long endurance that the uh, vehicle offers is going to be a key asset. Uh, it can also work on some specific missions like typically positioning on the seabed uh, certain types of equipment or payloads uh, that we want. It can also use its cargo bay to um, put other types of drones into the water, typically other UUVs or ROVs, depending on the use cases. What is the TRL level for this? Uh, well, this demonstrator has already been navigating for more than a year, so we're way beyond, I'd say, uh, the basic uh, R&D uh, types of, of level, and it's been tested in real environments as well as during exercise with the Navy. Very well, Pierre-Antoine, thank you very much. Thank you.